First off, it's time to saddle up and hit the trail for a story about a modern-day cowboy who lives life out on the range, while his tuneful talents have him traveling all around the world. On the rolling Palouse Hills of eastern Washington, near the small town of Dusty, Wiley Gustafson rides high in the saddle with a song in his heart. He's a modern-day singing cowboy, in harmony with life on the range and under the spotlight as one of America's best yodelers and country western singers. My music career and the ranching career kind of go hand in hand. They feed off of each other. You know, I write a lot of songs about the Western way and the Western lifestyle. I, I write songs about horses and, and the cattle and basically the life that we live out here in Dusty. I really love this lifestyle on the ranch, but at the same time, I really enjoy being in front of an audience and playing the music and seeing the reaction on the people's faces when we, we perform a song. Some say that I'm a throwback. Wiley and his band Wiley in the Wild West have been performing together for 17 years and have produced 12 albums. Their upbeat brand of good time cowboy music has them traveling around the world playing over 70 shows a year. Most of my inspiration in writing songs is from the day-to-day things that happen on the ranch. You know, usually it's not some big momentous event. It's usually the little things that, that inspire me to write the song. And I write a lot of songs about how peaceful it is out here and how, you know, the, this way of life um, is, is such a good way of life, so, such a positive way to live and, and um, honest. You know, we're close, we're close to the, the earth here. We're close to nature we're close to to what our forefathers eons ago used to do and i think there's a, a connection here that i feel real lucky to have you know i consider it a blessing when he's not on the road performing wiley and his wife kimberly run the 600 acre cross three quarter horses ranch my wife and i train quarter horses uh, we show cutting horses that's the main focus of our our ranch is the horse aspect of it but also we have cattle we use the cattle to train our cow horses a cutting horse is a athlete an equine athlete its uh, history goes back to texas and and the ranchers a long time ago needed a good horse to separate one cow, a stray cow, or a sick cow from the herd, and they used their cutting horse. It was the most valuable horse on the ranch. Born and raised in Conrad, Montana, Wiley learned the value of a hard day's work and how the power of music can bring people together. I grew up around music. My mom took me to church to sing uh, every Sunday, and my dad would uh, gather us around on, on usually Sunday afternoons or Sunday evenings after we watched the Lawrence Welch show. He'd gather us around and start singing songs to us. My yodeling uh, came from my dad. He, uh, he would yodel whenever he was happy. I loved to hear my dad yodel. Wiley was recently named Yodeler of the Year by the Academy of Western Artists and has yodeled commercially for Taco Bell, Miller Lite, and Porsche. In 1996, a small internet company named Yahoo was looking for a signature sound. It would become Wiley's most famous yodel. They wanted a small yodel snippet to kind of grab people's attention, and this is what I came up with. Yahoo! And the rest is history. Room to I long to be The hardest part for me of of being a musician is driving by the mailbox on a trip somewhere to have to go get on a plane and travel thousands of miles to go to go perform for a crowd. Once I get on the stage, it's great, you know, but it's really hard to leave the ranch, leave the horses. I miss it dearly. With miles and miles of room to roam. When I return from a performance and from traveling, the first thing I, I do is go clear my mind by getting on a horse. You know, they're great therapy. Um, they, I, they allow me to switch gears and really calm down and, and relax and, and enjoy myself. And 
Um, you know, life does look better through the ears of a horse. And I don't know what it is about uh, the outside of a horse that is so good for the inside of a man. I don't know who came up with that quote, but there's a lot of truth to it. Um, being on a horse for me is a, a form of therapy. I mean, I, I, um, I seem to be a pretty happy guy, and not a lot of things bother me. And I think that's because of the horse and what it offers me. There's so much to learn about a horse. You have to be patient, and but there's so much of a reward when you train a horse and it responds to you and you develop this relationship with the horse that's like no other relationship. Are you a smart horse? You're a smart horse? All right. Are you a dumb horse? Dumb? Are you dumb? No, you're not dumb. You're smart. Smart? Okay. Shake my hand. And give me a kiss. Okay. So come sit by my side if you love me. You know, I'm lucky to, to live out here on this ranch, and a big part of, of what we do out here is my wife, Kimberly. She really helps. Um, when I'm out on the road traveling, she's kind of the glue that holds the whole operation together. Uh, I've been blessed with a great wife and, you know, makes my life a lot easier for me. Even though performing on stage is one of Wiley's greatest thrills, he doesn't dream of being the next big star in country music. Through his songs and his Western lifestyle, he represents the genuine American cowboy, and his fans are all too happy to keep him as their treasured secret. I do not dream of being a country superstar. You know, to me, it's not being a, about the next Garth Brooks. You know, I, it's not about, you know, traveling and, and doing a hundred shows a year to thousands of people. To me, it's, it's more about singing the music that I want to sing. I had a chance to go to Nashville and try to make million selling albums, but I'd rather live out here on the ranch write songs that mean a lot to me and live the life I love to live out here on the ranch and have music be a part of this lifestyle rather than music be the focus of my life. I know all the songs that the cowboys know about the big corral where the doggies go. I learned them all on the radio. There's something about this lifestyle that, that really... Uh, makes me happy and creates a peaceful existence for me.